Hello everyone. Now today we are going to discuss about the algebraic terms. On the previous part, we were discuss about the some concept of algebra and simple addition and subtraction of a single like terms and concept of constant and variable. Now today we are discussing about the algebraic term. What is algebraic term? First we have to know what do you mean by term. Term means a single single term this like this 6a 6 like this 12 these are a single term. Outer outer term. Maybe this is constant or variable. Those value which is fixed like this 6a and 12 these are constant whose value is always 6 and 12 this is fixed constant in and 6a if a is constant then 6a is constant if a is variable then 6a is also variable so the symbol symbol constant by when is number term can the constant answer symbol variable by any term pani ke the variable first to see on here 4x plus 2 this type of terms here is two terms this is first term and this is second term these are terms you have plus or minus le separate gare ka dui yada term haru dui yada different uh, symbol haru ke on the terms the what is terms the symbol or the character which is separated by plus or minus or different operators. Plus minus le separate garega terms are given the or symbol are given the terms. Here the algebraic terms. Algebraic term in the combination of combination of constant and variable with the help of operators operators ka help ata suppose constant one hunu sakcha this may be variables like this 6a maybe this is constant or variable this is not specified but plus 2l this is constant this is a specified term you constant now and you get 2 well value tell you when 2 well are 13 bunny or liner 11 bunny or liner this is always constant this value change garna so again here this is first term as term and this is second term these are the algebraic term like this x plus y minus z here is three terms this is first terms this is second terms and this is third term these are the terms here is the operator we separate these three terms in this way we can separate or we can know what is terms or what is algebraic term algebraic term in the combination of constant or variable which is separated by or uh, which is with the help of combine on over again 6a plus 2l 6a or 2l like a combine like the plus this combine this is operator this is 7x minus 3z here these two are terms and this is operator which combines two terms yes my you subtract work this is algebraic term on the basis of number of terms algebraic term are further divided into number is one monomials having single term
single term means there is no operators. The operator then like this six a b c d. That is the main symbols, but which is not separated by operator. A plus minus can be term sign. So this is a single term. So this is monomials. Like this seven z. Here is the combination of constant and variable, but there is no operator. So this is also monomials. Like this seven. Five to seven. Suppose seven p z. Here is also a monomial because this is coefficient minus seven. This is one number. This is constant number. With this is not combined with the other term. So this is monomial. Okay. Then having two term, single term by any kind of other is it? Monomial. In binomials, what do you mean by binomials? Binomials mean having two terms. There are terms for any term for that. This is binomial. You should have to remember on math and science, mono mean. One always mono mean one and bi mean two. There is binomials, so there is two terms. And tri mean three, like this triangle. Triangle mean three side having. Trinomials having three terms. Suppose six a plus two l. This is first term and this is second term. There is two terms, so this is binomials. Such as seven z plus six a minus three. It is one. Is this is term? This is second term and this is third term. So this is trinomial. In this way, we can separate this term. We can divide or classify this term into many parts. Or many parts mean many uh, categories like this monomial, binomial, and trinomial on the basis of number of term. And having more than two term, uh, three terms, then these are called multinomials. Multinomials. Multinomials mean having Many terms. More than one terms is called multinomial. So these are two. These two are also the multinomials. More than one. Ek uta vanda body vai vanda many unsa. Ek uta vanda body ani ko kya uta many ho. So these two also multinomials. But we should have to specify two and three terms having algebraic expression. These are. Binomials and trinomials, and they have more than like this z minus x plus two y plus z plus one. Here is one, two, three, and four. Having three operator, then this is multinomials. In similar way, five z, seven z minus three p plus Two x minus minus four. This is also the multinomials because there is four terms, or more than four terms like this. Three y also. This is also a multinomials because it has many terms. This is about the algebraic terms. Below this, like terms and unlike terms. Those expression which bears the same symbols, like this symbols mean x, y, z, a, b, c, d, like this type of. These are symbols, are constant or variable. Same constant or variable. I mean, this is called like term. Like this, seven x plus three y. Three x 
minus phi bar. Here it is the same symbols is used. So this is like term. Like term mean having same algebraic symbol. mean same algebraic symbol in in similar way unlike term are having different algebraic terms for example seven x minus 3y plus 5x. Here two are like terms, but this is unlike. So this whole expression is unlike. If 7x plus 5x only, only two terms having same symbols and this expression is this much, then this is like. Say like. If zoom symbols are symbol different by any given unlike one. I mean the same symbol, then this is called like. We can add or subtract only the like terms. And the like term the man take one such on the add or subtract on the such on. For example, seven x minus five y plus three x. Here two are like term. Then we can add this seven x plus three x. This is ten x minus five x. This is our answer. We cannot add this y to x because this is unlike terms. Unlike terms, we cannot add or subtract. Like this seven x minus three x plus two y. There is also two like terms, and this is unlike term. So we cannot add this. If some terms is arise like this y, then these two are like and these two are like. So we can operate between this. And you do it like you know so the subtraction gonna so many you do it like you know so many of the add gonna so many. This is four x and plus this is three y. This is our answer. Add I am like you know so the like term like matter add gonna so so. This is concept to add like terms and we don't have to add or subtract unlike terms. In this way, we should have to solve some algebraic terms. And for example, another one. 7x minus y plus x minus 3y. What will be the answer? We have to operate between this x and x. This is also plus and this is also plus. Can the plus plus? Can the plus on the add on the sign to plus on the minus plus? Can the subtraction on the Given the sign, greater cosine on the greater sign on the zoom co value body sa this cosine on the n plus minus and minus plus minus also same and minus minus is addition and sine is minus. You should have to remember this all the these operations. And let's see on here. This 7x and this x, this is plus plus, so we have to plus. And this 7x plus this x is, this is 1x, so we have to add 7 plus 1, this is 8x. And this is minus and this minus, minus minus plus and sign is minus, so minus sign. Then this is 1y and this is minus 3y. Then minus 1 and minus 3 is plus. Then 4y. This is answer. 
you just still have to remember this. Already on the arithmetic also, we have discussed this. And the arithmetic mobani, you logic or you use also. This is similar to here. And the symbol like halga nai na. We should have to do this. This is coefficient. Kune aura algebraic terms hone. Then isko symbol ko agar ya unni number ke unse da coefficient unse. Here is seven is coefficient is seven. And y only there is. Coefficient is one. You should have to do this. Okay. Then understanding the value of algebraic symbol. And some question are arised like this: If x equal to two, y equal to three, then Find the value of value of number a if three x plus three y. Now to find this value, I'm like, what is it? X equal to what? See, see, this is x. When x equal to two, see, we have to put on here three into x equal to two plus if there is no symbol, then there is multiply. Then plus three into y equal value got this other three is how much? This six plus this is nine. It will be the answer. This is fifteen. In this way, we can calculate the value of this algebraic expression. Your algebraic expression got value got this other fifteen right here. While using x equal to two and y equal to three. In this way, we have to find some values. I will be one upon two x minus one upon three y. What will be the value? We have to put one upon two. There is no symbol. Then you should have to multiply by two. This is the x value of x. Your two k other your x value minus one upon three. Into y ka value ka this other three sa. Then three three cot. This is one times. This two and this two also cot by one times. Then this is one into one. This is one minus this is one into one. This is zero. This answer is zero. While subtracting this, like this three y minus three y. This is zero y. Zero multiply by something. This is zero. This answer is zero. Well, as to subtraction, I only mean this answer got into the zero answer, not a zero i. Zero i on the inner. This answer is zero. Similar way, one minus one is also zero. In this way, we can find the value. Understanding the value of algebraic symbol. Algebraic symbol ko value kaise use karne tha? This is the question. We can find like this. Suppose on your next one question, x minus y plus six. What will be the value? Value of x is two minus the value of y is three. Then plus six. Six the constant of this co value fix on the. Then we have to solve this. I like to have the means simplify on the second one. Then this is two plus six plus plus. We have to do one first. Then plus is eight, and this is minus three, and eight minus three is five. This is answer. This is answer. In this way, we can do this algebra for one simple level. And if some question is Arise and some question is remain. Remain. Then I will come with the next part.